Welcome to ABC 31 News Tonight. I'm Scott Beadle. We begin with breaking news tonight. Rapids deputies say they've arrested a 15-year-old in connection with threats made this week, causing a soft lockdown at some schools. Started Tuesday morning with emails sent to Ash and to Bolton, and today at Northwood High was hit with that same type of email. They were also placed on soft lockdown. After IDing the suspects, deputies charged him with five counts of terrorizing and one of obstruction of justice. More charges may still be added. Authorities say they cannot release his name or the school he attends because of his age. Meanwhile, we are under a flash flood watch and looking ahead to days of rain. Let's go right now to meteorologist Ross Whitley. We had plenty of rain yesterday and we have more rain to come over the next couple of days, even talking about the chance for severe weather. Of course, we'll talk more about that in just a few minutes. 79 degrees is what we got up to today. 58 last night, so a warm, humid day out there. Not as much rain today as what we had yesterday. Picked up about two and a half inches yesterday in total, and nearly a half an inch of rain today. We could be picking up more overnight tonight, but the heaviest rain returns for the day late tomorrow going into Saturday, and that's the day we'll be watching for severe weather as well. I'll be breaking it all down for you, and when we might be done with the rain, all coming up in just a few minutes. All right, thank you, Ross. Rapids deputies arrest a paraprofessional at Barron Elementary in Pineville for allegedly taking a handgun in her purse on campus. She's 31 year old Britta Burlo Fuqua of Pineville. The school resource officer handled the matter. Fuqua was given a citation. Sheriff William Earl Hilton says there may not have been any criminal intent and it could just be a legitimate oversight, but he says it was the wrong thing to do. Deputies say that gun was taken from her. Alexandria police say a traffic stop led to the arrest of a man from Colorado. 53-year-old Robert Yum was originally stopped for speeding on North MacArthur. Police say they found a handgun that had been stolen, a large quantity of marijuana, pills, and drug paraphernalia. He is facing drug and illegal firearm charges. Grant deputies arrest an Alexandria woman on drug charges after a report of suspicious activity in a business parking lot. Deputies arrested 50-year-old Felicia Ann Mitchell for possession of drugs and paraphernalia. A Colombian national pleads guilty in federal court to using a stolen ID to try and obtain a driver's license. 33-year-old Overth Riascos Borarona now faces up to five years in prison when he is sentenced in May. And a Vidalia man pleads guilty in federal court to cocaine distribution. 40-year-old Desmond Fleming faces up to 20 years in prison when he appears in court again in May. The Louisiana Public Service Commission is discussing the impact of federal tax breaks and the expediency of passing those rates on to consumers. As you know, the federal government passed a tax uh, plan, which is going to reduce the taxes owed by the utilities, and that will reduce the amount of money owed from ratepayers. Uh, we're going to work through this over the next four months. Some reports will come sooner than others, and as they present themselves, we'll have quick motions to make sure that we get whatever the reduction is, because each company is going to be different, but whatever the reduction is, we'll make sure it gets to the ratepayers as soon as possible. The commissioner has advised utility companies to come up with a quick way to get the refunds to consumers. For more information, you can visit lpsc.louisiana.gov. Following the recent high school shooting in Parkland, Florida, law enforcement throughout Louisiana and the rest of the country have received numerous copycat threats, as we told you about at the beginning of the show. Although citizens are encouraged to report suspicious activity, increased sharing of unconfirmed threats through social media stresses the resources available to respond to and investigate these claims. The Louisiana State Police says one way to report suspicious activity is by using the C-Send app. It is free to download to your smartphone. It offers the ability to write or take a photo of anything suspicious and pass it along to law enforcement. Arthur F. Smith Middle Magnet held a Black History program this morning, honoring some essay winners. Students gathered in the gym to learn about the importance of Black History and Smith himself. They enjoyed the sounds of the Peabody High School band while reflecting on African American culture. We're hoping that students who are in attendance with us today will take away the idea, first of all, that because our theme here says Warriors for Freedom. They will take away the idea that, first of all, freedom is not free. Someone, meaning their 
ancestors, the persons before us, had to pay certain prices for the journey that they had to travel in order to make the achievements that they made. Multiple students were recognized for their Black History essays during the program, and they also received gift cards and medals for their work. The Louisiana Department of Education has launched a statewide campaign to elevate the teaching profession and to recruit the next generation of educators. It's called the Be a Teacher LA campaign. It targets high school juniors and seniors, as well as college freshmen and sophomores, who are in the prime stages of their future career selection. Teaching is an amazing profession. You have incredible opportunities to impact the trajectory of students' lives and actually the world. So um, it requires a quick thinking and also a strong knowledge base of subject areas. And it's really important to develop relationships. And those relationships with students and their families can be very powerful. The department began its efforts to promote and strengthen the teaching profession in 2014 with the launch of the nationally recognized Believe and Prepare program. The Be a Teacher LA campaign builds on that work by spotlighting the benefits of a career in education and by recruiting educators who can fulfill school system's workforce needs. Krista San Francis Cabrini Hospital began a Heart Month event today at Alexandria Middle Magnet. For two days, hospital team members will take over the school's physical education classes for about 640 students, rotating through three activities and sharing some life-saving information in a fun, interactive environment. We're calling it jump ropes and stethoscopes uh, to teach the kids about heart health, as well as we're doing uh, stations and breakout sessions for uh, hands-only CPR, and as well as teaching the kids about stroke. We partner with the school to help support for community outreach. It's part of our stewardship at, here at Cabrini to reach out and uh, help the community, and this was one way that we wanted to do it. Over the course of two days, the students will cover the topics of stroke awareness, CPR, and heart and blood pressure education. It's the first year the hospital has partnered with the school for this event, with team members from nursing, cardiology, and the hospital's education departments all taking part. The Central Louisiana Homeless Coalition is hosting a Freeze to the Finish 5K Run Walk to raise awareness and funding for the homeless population in the community. It's this Saturday at 9 at Alexandria City Hall. There's, um, you know, there, there's about 150 chronically homeless people in Central Louisiana. And the Homeless Coalition just opened a day center in November. And um, we have showers and laundry facilities and post office boxes and case workers. And you know, we're trying to raise awareness for the problem and funds to keep that program going. For more information, you can visit senlahomeless.org. The traditional Chinese evergreen is a tough house plant that's always come in one color, green. On this edition of Get It Growing, LSU Ag Center horticulturist Dan Gale explains how some recent developments with his plant now include striking variations from the original color and the style of the plant. Whenever I've gotten the question, what's a good, reliable house plant, one of my go-to plants has been the Chinese evergreen, or aglianema. And you can see some of these wonderful aglianemas right here. Now, these are the old-fashioned aglianemas. They've been in cultivation for many, many generations, and their tried and true reputation is well-deserved as a great house plant. But the thing about them is, is as pretty as they are, their beauty is very subtle. Shades of pewter and dark green are typical to the different varieties of Chinese evergreens that we've had available to us for a long time. Well, that's all changed. In the past five years or so, exciting new varieties have come out of Southeast Asia that add the color red, pink, and all different shades in between to these wonderful, tough, reliable plants. Look at some of the new varieties out now. Look at this one with the dark pink splotches in the leaves. Looks almost like like a caladium. Here's one with shades of, of, of flamingo and magenta, chartreuse and dark green. Pink stems on these are really notable. This beautiful one with the pale pink midrib and little speckles all over the leaves. And then look at this one with the dramatic dark red edges to the leaves. And again, those beautiful dark pink petioles. These just completely revolutionize how these great plants look. 
So when you go to the nursery these days, look for these new cultivars with this bright color in their foliage. Provide these plants with a bright window that gets a little bit of morning sun. If you put them outside in the summer, which they love, put them in a shady porch. No direct sun whatsoever to keep them happy. Let them dry slightly between waterings, and these plants will reward you with great performance for years to come. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center. For more information on other lawn and garden topics, contact your parish's LSU Ag Center Extension Service Office or visit the LSU Ag Center website. That's at lsuagcenter.com and click on the Lawn and Garden button. Stay connected with KLAX ABC 31. Visit us online anytime. Get today's top stories and trending topics. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. See our pics on Instagram. Watch us on YouTube. And make KLAXTV.com your home for local news and information. Plus, download the KLAX weather app for your smartphone or tablet. Get live current conditions, radar maps, alerts, and more. More ways to stay connected with KLAX TV. Current conditions out there, 78 degrees and sunny. Got you dreaming of springtime. Maybe that's what it feels like out there. Still have that south wind blowing at times upwards of 20 miles per hour. So another breezy day, even though it was warm and actually not terrible. We did pick up about four tenths of an inch of rain, mainly falling last night. But there is plenty of rain on the way still to be added to our storm total since this all started two days ago. 65 degrees overnight tonight, another warm night, a shower or two, maybe even a heavier downpour is possible, but the majority of the rain will be off to our north and west. Starting to get its act together now so to see these showers developing. There's an area of low pressure that will be developing off to our west throughout the next several hours. That will be moving along this stalled frontal boundary, which is lifting slightly. You can follow the warmer temperatures there. It's moving slightly to the north. We'll be getting into Shreveport here soon, but the heaviest rain is going to stall out in the Texarkana area, but that should still allow for moisture to override our area and provide more showers and even thunderstorms as we go throughout tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. So we look at our radar going on here, and we'll zoom this in a little bit closer. See most of the rain and heavier activity off to our west, really on the east side of Texas. We don't really have a whole lot going on here, but we will continue to see these showers lifting northward, and I expect to see the coverage increase as we go into the early morning hours tomorrow. Because of all of this rain activity, we do have a flash flood watch still in effect for Vernon Parish and an overall aerial flood watch in effect for all parishes around the area. And you notice a lot of these green boxes here. Those are flood warnings on rivers. Of course, the Mississippi getting in on that action because of all of the rain upstream that is being funneled down into those rivers and then, of course, headed in our direction. So those rivers will continue to rise for the next 48 hours to 72 hours because there's a lot of rain still to fall. Picking up about three tenths here, Natchez about a half an inch, a lot of places around a half an inch today. Shreveport a little higher and of course Monroe a lot higher with the heavier rain that fell last night. More rain on the way absolutely. Our future radar here putting it into motion. You see the majority of the heaviest rain will stay off to our west tonight. Do you notice these little showers as we go into the early morning hour and then a better chance of rain developing as we get into the day tomorrow as these heavier thunderstorms start to lift forward and then there it is by tomorrow afternoon the heaviest of rain will be moving in as well. Now checking out what to expect. Well, plenty of rain on the way and even talking about severe weather and pull that up here briefly. Small hail, gusty winds, and even a tornado risk for the day on Saturday. Of course, we'll talk more about that severe weather as we go throughout the day tomorrow. More rain on the way and temperatures staying warm. Let's look at your seven day annual weather forecast. There's a man out west who goes by the name of Mr. West. Mr. West. Mr. West. James West. James West. How did you know? Oh, just a wild guess. Hard secret agent. Get down! Hard cowboy. And all man. He's Jim West on the Wild Wild West. Keep the change. Here's weekdays at 4 and Saturdays at 5 on MeTV Alexandria.
Good evening, everyone. I'm Nick Frank. The NSU women's basketball team had to play catch up for most of their game last night against Incarnate Word. Lady Demons turned the ball over 22 times, and any time they'd get even close, a costly turnover would get in the way. So it's safe to say Jordan Dupuy was not all that happy after the loss. We did not play well at all. Um, you know, they did some things defensively to change their coverages on certain things. But again, we're at a point in the season where anything that we see in a game we've already seen and we've already prepared for. Uh, and so, like I told them in the locker room, if, if it doesn't come from the sidelines, they act like they have no idea what they're supposed to do. We played not to lose again, and, and we beat ourselves. And, and that's, that's what it is. There's no point in sugarcoating it anymore. Meanwhile, the NSU men's basketball team finally able to snap its long losing streak with a win over in Garnet Word. The 12 point win is the Demons' first conference victory of the season and snaps a 17 game losing streak. Ishmael Lane led the way with 22 points and 11 rebounds to record his ninth double double of the season. And thanks for watching. Have a great night. KLAX is the exclusive provider of ABC and MeTV programming here in central Louisiana. We're the only station where you can watch new ABC programs like Dancing with the Stars, Designated Survivor, and Grey's Anatomy, just to name a few. That's what family does. We take care of each other. I'm proud of you. The one of your love. And if classic TV programs like Bonanza, Andy Griffin, Batman, or Carol Burnett is more your style, then MeTV's the station for you. As an advertiser, you want your products and services presented to these loyal viewers. Our sales team is equipped to prove we can generate new customers and new revenue for your business. I'll tell you what, it pays to advertise. And we have a number of low-risk advertising programs designed to prove we work. Call our media consultant team today for a no-risk assessment on how we can help you grow your business. We're ready to prove we work.